Newly married couple die 30 minutes after the wedding. You won't believe the reason they died. Young people get married, but their marriage only lasts 30 minutes. The joy and atmosphere at that wedding were exceptional. The young couple looked radiant, full of life, and with a whole life ahead of them to be happy and have a life full of satisfaction, affection, and love. The table that was next to the guests exhibited and invited all kinds of succulent and delicious dishes that were prepared with delicacy and care for such a special occasion. The bride looked radiant, beautiful, happy, and her dress, which had an extremely long veil, had been made by one of the most renowned dressmakers at that moment. The priest spoke the words of admonition to the couple, inviting them to love, help, and respect each other for the rest of their lives. Nobody would imagine, even in their worst nightmares, that that time would be so short. When finally the priest finished his words, but not before blessing them and declaring them husband and wife. The couple kissed tenderly, and in this way that marriage alliance had been sealed. But that happy and memorable moment would be marred by misfortune and death. Death was around that special moment, and no one could even suspect it. Daniela and John Mackenzie were born together on the outskirts of Rome, the capital of Italy. Their families controlled 90% of the financial banks in that country and their marriage would join in a single name those immerse fortunes. Unlike other marriages where money and wealth are involved, Daniela and John loved each other deeply. That feeling had begun to sprout since they were little ones, and it grew more and more until they reached adulthood. Their family had planned that union since they were children. They were enrolled in the same schools and were even sent abroad to the same university, so that these young people would never lose contact and that love would be born between the couple. Their efforts had resulted in the effort of the parents desired, and now the young people were about to be joined in marriage. The wedding would take place in the Swiss Alps at a height of more than 3,000 meters, and in front of which was a mountain lake with crystal blue waters where the sky on clear days was reflected like a great dazzling mirror. That landscape was incomparable beauty. The height of crystalline and environment voted an almost heavenly feeling. Both families spared no expense, and all the details were covered with care and attention. All the high society of that country had been invited, and that would be the biggest event that took place at those heights. The day came, and there was that happy and radiant couple uniting their lives into one, sealed with a kiss that promised love and respect until death separated them. A toast was made in which everyone wished the couple happiness and long life. Who could imagine that that moment so full of joy and happiness would last so little, and that misfortune and death would have the macabre mantle over that young couple? From happiness to misfortune, many times there's only one step, and sometimes we're not aware of how close it is to us. We should always live to the fullest, as if it were the last day of our lives, close to the people we love, expressing our care and love to them. We should never let a day go by without knowing. We must always offer the best of ourselves. In the distance, and as if in a well-synchronized choreography, the toast was barely over. There was the click of the blades of the approaching helicopter. The echo that bounced off the surrounding mountains amplifies the sound of the devices in which the happy couple of newlyweds would retire in a spectacular way to start their honeymoon. That morning, although sunny and clear, had shown strong and found winds. But that would not be an obstacle for the pilot who directed that device. He was experienced and had hundreds of flight hours, which gave them confidence in piloting the helicopter. He descended in the middle of that area. The couple said goodbye to their parents. They hugged and kissed but no one imagined that this would be the last signs of affection that they would give. The couple boarded the helicopter. The large veil of the young woman's dress presented some drawbacks, but nothing stopped the couple between applause and shouts of farewell, and the helicopter began its ascent. The couple said goodbye, and little by little, the helicopter disappeared from everyone's sight. The young people had wanted their wedding to be unforgettable, but that would never happen. It was their helicopter, victim of the strong crosswinds that morning, it would crash resoundingly, and the couple would die instantly. That day had been the happiest of their lives. Their dreams and illusions had the best prospects of being realized. Happiness was there, and it would never leave their side. The last day of their lives had been the happiest and funniest of all, but it would also be the most tragic and painful. There are an endless number of reasons that things might not be going your way, but not all of them are external. You can benefit from taking control of your life and changing what you believe needs to be changed. Here's a list of 10 things to stop doing in order to lead your life in the direction you want. Stop whining. Notice I said whining and not venting or expressing frustration. 
Whining is negative. It does nothing to improve your situation or your mood or the mood of whoever has to listen to you. If you need to get something off your chest, you should do it. You'll feel a burden being lifted. However, whining is totally unproductive. Examine your emotions and see what you can do to change whatever is frustrating you. Stop losing perspective. Is your problem short term? It's likely that things will start going your way once X, Y, and Z happen. If the answer to those questions is yes, then remove yourself from your immediate situation and focus on the long term. Stop comparing. So what if someone else is better at something than you are? You have a particular set of skills and knowledge that others don't have, and the reverse is true as well. You are your own worst critic, so ease up and stop comparing yourself to everyone else. Stop forgetting past failures. The best thing about failure is that you can learn from it. Often, you can learn even more from a failure than a success. Keep your failures in mind as a way to better yourself. Stop seeing problems as roadblocks. Just as you can learn from failure, you can also learn from the problems you're currently facing. Instead of getting frustrated, take a step back to evaluate the situation and figure out what you can do about it. Stop getting too attached. Dreams, goals, desires, aspirations, whatever you want to call them, everyone has them, but many people get too emotionally attached to them. Things can get dicey whenever emotions are involved, and sometimes, no matter how hard you try, things just don't work out the way you'd hope they would. Keep your dreams, but keep a little bit of space in between your emotions and your desires. It will save you a lot of heartache later on. Stop giving up. You're in charge of your life. When you give up, the only person to blame is you. Giving up cannot be an option for you if you want to get things going your way. You have to work at it. Stop losing faith. Things can always change, and you're often in control of that. If a situation isn't going your way, don't lose faith that it could change. Believing in yourself and the potential for things to go your way is powerful and will help you find the strength to do what's best for you. Stop trying to be someone you're not. Remember who you are and what you stand for. Changing yourself in the hopes that other things might change too is not a good idea. You'll feel miserable trying to be a different person. And if you've been in the middle school where everyone tries to be someone they're not, you know just how exhausting that charade can be. Stop obsessing. Don't stress too much about something. Obsessing too much over one thing can be draining, and it might cause the situation to get worse. Sometimes it's good to step back and give that situation slightly less attention. You'll feel better without the added stress of obsession. Did you like the story? Has it happened to you that the hustle and bustle of life robs you of the enjoyment of the really important things? What lessons do you think we can learn from this story? Friends, we've reached the end of the story. Tell us what you thought of it. Write it down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to share this video with all your friends and family. Also, we invite you to activate the notification bell so that you can receive more content like this every day. Thank you for appearing in our life and until next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.